What's up, guys? I'm Trina Sanderson. You're on the infamous Living Room Network. Divine power is always working for us because we're trying to do right. Let's get right down into it, guys. We ain't going to waste no time with this one. Activating the Sahasara, the seventh chakra of your body. For those of you who already know, the body consists of seven chakras. This is supposed to be the top chakra of all of them. You know, in order to access this one, all the rest of the chakras, all six other chakras, down here and down have to be in complete alignment and everything has to be going good you know your throat chakra has to be circulating properly um, your root chakra has to be circulating properly all your energy has to be equally aligned up in order to reach this top chakra which is the crown chakra and to activate that sahasra now the only reason why I can talk about this video is just like the last video I made yesterday, which is my trip to the Acacia Records. If you didn't go, if you didn't watch that video yet on my trip to the Acacia Records, I'm gonna need you to watch that after this video. That's very important because it ties in to some of the stuff that I'm about to tell you about right now, dealing with the seven chakras. Um, so this this Shahasara, I don't think I'm saying it right, but I'm gonna say it the best way I know how to say it. Um, it's a very fancy word. The Sahasara. It reminds me of the Sahara Desert. God dang, Trinity, you talk too much. But let's get down into it. Let's keep going, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, this is it's represented as, you know, a big rose petal on the head. Um, if you've seen some of the pictures on Google and whatnot, it's a big rose petal, like uh, petals of flowers going around the head, the seven crown chakra of the body. Um, and this is actually true because this is how it feels this is how it feels um i've experienced it maybe I count on my hands maybe one two three maybe four times i've activated you know my seven chakra in the sahasara i've activated it i, I knew i activated because some things you just know you know it's, some things you just know that you know that you know that you saw it like people that seen ufos before can't nobody tell them otherwise they saw it they were there nobody else was there they saw it with their own two eyes they're not stupid they know how to make objects out and determine whether or not it's an airplane you know or a kite yeah they saw the ufo you know some people seeing supernatural stuff like angels and ghosts you can't tell them that they didn't see it they know they seen it they know what it looked like they're not stupid and dumb they know that they saw a spiritual entity so it's the same thing with this um shahasara guys i know that i experienced it that's why i'm able to tell you in so much detail how it was what it felt like what i experienced and what i experienced guys um i'm gonna tell you the first time i experienced it uh the first time i experienced it guys uh it was very scary um uh, because when you're coming into a different consciousness like all of a sudden like in a snap of a finger and you're not used to being there in that consciousness like when all seven chakras are activated and that is oh, the shahasara is open, your eyes open to a whole nother reality as well. Um, and if you haven't watched my videos on the seven stages of consciousness explained, I talk about that in the seven stages of consciousness explained of how, you know, you wake up to different realities the more you grow in your maturity, the more you grow as an individual your perception conceptualize yeah, conceptualize and, and you start to see things from a broader perspective that's why people that actually grow old gain more wisdom or so to speak or it seems as though they're they're smarter than the the, the youngest person you understand but that's simply because their consciousness and they their, their level of awareness has been raised and heightened because they have experienced more things or you know they're um they're in a different understanding and they're in a much higher dimension of reality and seeing things versus the person who's just born into the world and never seen anything. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you can automatically, you can already see a lot of things at a young age if you open yourself up to life. And this is why we always need to be make we always need to be making ourselves better, other people's lives better, in the world a better place, guys. Because the more you open yourself up to just living life the more you begin to have experiences in your life and then you can do this so much to the point that you start to have more experiences than the guy who is 55 years old when you're only 33 you understand like this is why the youth or the new generation is outgrowing the the previous generation that came up who are now older than us because we're experiencing more stuff you know that's why the millennials are here because now we have technology so we're getting information like in a in a snap of a finger like on the internet on google just by typing it in when people had to go to the encyclopedias back in the day they had to you know dig up 
bones and stuff to find out, you know, how to get from point A to point B. They didn't have GPS. You know, they was like scratching their head and reading maps and stuff. Like, we got so much information nowadays as, as young people, as millennials, you know, to the point that we can quickly, easily get experiences and, you know, have access to, you know, life, you know, and so that makes us wise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, older people out there, but I'm 27 years old, and I'm, I'm I consider myself a pretty wise guy. A lot of people told me that I'm I'm, I'm wise for my age. I'm an old soul. Um, I don't believe in old souls. I believe in young souls. I believe in vibrant souls. I believe in happy souls. You know, the 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 young soul is the most smartest. Babies and kids are the most smartest because they're free and they're open. Their mind is not dumbed down to like limits. You know. <laughs> That's the truth, guys. I ain't got no old soul. I got a young soul. That's why I still look young and I'm 27 years old because I keep myself vitalized and so should you. Keep yourself vitalized. I always do creative stuff. I always think outside the box. I always be different from the status quo. I always set yourself apart from the population and make yourself different. You know, following the things that you love to do. Don't follow any things that people, other people like to do. Do what you like to do. Do what you love to do. And you will notice that you will renew your youth. You will mount up with wings like the eagles. You know what I'm saying? It's real out here. But anyway, let's get back down to this hustle, guys. This is real serious information. Um, so in that moment that I felt it, I was in a different reality. Um, I saw, I, I saw everybody looking at me. I saw everybody looking at me in his first experience. Um, I was at work. I was at work, and it's like it's crazy because you become. It's like you become the universe, and I think Jim Carrey talked about it too on Oprah. Um, I watched some videos a couple of days ago, and he was describing something of what I thought to be what I'm talking what I'm talking about now. I don't know. He didn't really describe it like I'm describing it. I'm I'm a little more detailed with it, but he probably experienced the same thing. And it's it's very hard to get back to this state of consciousness. Like it's it's very hard to get there. Like. Um, even if you're a very powerful, influential person or a celebrity or a star or icon or whatever you call yourself, you won't even be there. You're probably just you're probably just be popular or whatnot or you might be famous or whatnot. But it's hard to get there if you're not there. You know, only person that I probably would say probably was there. Somebody, somebody like Mother Teresa or Gandhi or something. You know what I mean? Like this is a very high state of consciousness. And so I was there. And at the, in that moment that I was there, everybody was looking at me. Now listen to the listen how weird it was, guys. Listen how reality changed. Listen, listen. Everybody was looking at me. Not like I thought that people were looking at me. No, I was in a consciousness to where I I was the universe, or I was the center of all of tension, and everything around me, all the people at work around me were literally looking at me. I looked at him. He was looking at me. I looked at them. They were looking at me. I looked at two people over there. They were talking to them amongst themselves about me, looking at me. I heard conversations come across the room um, that were talking about me. I heard conversations like flowing across my head or going across my head where people were talking to me. Like, um, and the, the, in this moment, in, in this experience, the conversations were like trying to, um, you know, lead me on to stay there stay in this stay in this consciousness like i remember stuff words coming across my head like stay here or i'm not stay here like um i can't i can't remember that far back it's so far back guys i can't really remember but all i know is i was hearing conversations from far away places you know and it was i was the center of attention literally do i know why no but so it made me very scared guys it, it made me freaking scared um because I was in a new reality and I had never experienced uh, this Sahasara seven chakra thing. And you know, as a matter of fact, after I experienced that, that was like one of the first times I experienced it. It was the first time I experienced it. After I experienced that, I went and looked up some stuff in the car on Google after I got off work and stuff like that about the chakras. I even called my brother, I think, that day because he's kind of knowledgeable in this type of stuff. And I was talking to him and he was telling me about the same stuff I was experiencing. And I'm like, what? I'm like, man, yo. Like, yo, yo, dog, I was there. I was there. I was there. Um, and so I was very scared, guys. I was I was scared. Like, I was a little punk. You know, I was really scared because it was so, it's so, it's so powerful. It's such a powerful feeling that 
if you're not ready for, if you're not prepared to take on that power, you will probably have a panic attack or something because you have to be mentally correct. Like you have to be mentally prepared to, to just understand that you are God within. You know, I, I think if come on now, if you woke up right now and just realized, like if you just can't stepped into the Shahasara right now and you switch realities and you just realize you're the oneness with all, you are the great I am, you will freak out. And I see a lot of people see a lot of people talk about this seven chakra stuff, this consciousness stuff, and all this and that. And you know what? Since I've experienced stuff like this, and I'm gonna tell you some more experiences, but I want to tell you this. But since I've experienced stuff like this, guys, I personally know. That it's not something to play with, you know, um, and I believe that that statement, that myth or that term, you know, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. I say again, guys, be careful what you wish for, because some of the things that you wishing for, you know, as far as consciousness goes, as far as your dreams, your hopes, your goals go. Some of the stuff that you wishing for, guys, is way beyond your very own measure. You know, you probably won't or not or not prepared to handle what you want. That's probably why you don't have it. And a lot of people want stuff, but they don't have the capacity to take it on if they had it. That's why creation, that's why God himself won't, you know, endow people with certain, you know, um, blessings and stuff like that. And, 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 and great grand opportunities because they're simply just not ready for something like that. We can all sit back and say, hey, I want to... I want to be more, I want to be powerful, mm -hmm, humming and stuff, you know, doing meditations and all this and that, trying to become psychologically correct. But guys, this is something that's so powerful, I don't even think a lot of you will really understand it. And it, it kind of reminds me of when you get to heaven, <laughs> you know, when you get to heaven and you see the all of the heaven, you probably just be out of your mind, out of your mind. It probably won't even be. You know, you probably won't be able to fathom how wonderful it feels to be in heaven. The way the Bible describes being in heaven is beyond human understanding. Like, how is that possible? How can something be so marvelous, so majestic, so incredible that the mind, it, it says it in the Bible, it says the mind cannot even fathom the glory of God. Can't even fathom the glory. Wow. So, you know, being in this God-like consciousness, which is called, you know, the Shahasara, the seventh chakra, when that thing activate, that's all I got to say. When, when that thing turn on, guys, you there. You are there. Um, so another time I experienced it was um, when I, I was working at another job. I was working at another job. And, you know, it, it for me... It activated when I was under the most stress. Um, I was under a lot of stress, and I was just wishing for once again wishing for something that I'm not ready for. Um, and you know, which was how the same it happened the first time. I was I think I was just I think I was even reading a Bible at that time or something. I was really trying to measure up to everything that I seen myself in my mind's eye. And the first time it happened, and the second time I'm about to tell you right now it happened, and so. The second time, snap! I was there again. I was there again, and 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 like I said, guys, when you're there, everything around you becomes like an illusion. Like even people, like they don't even see, you're on another consciousness. So it's like you can probably do whatever you want to do. It's it's like you have you're free for all. It's free. You're free for all. So in this moment, I'm supposed to have been working. Now, at the job I was working at at this time, it was about 30 people around me at this time, right? So, it was about 30 people around me. So, when I snapped into my seventh chakra, I knew, was in, I, knew I was in another consciousness. I knew, I knew, I knew. Um, I immediately panicked again. You know, I panicked um, and I just began to walk around. I started losing my breath. You know, like... I started losing my breath. I, like I said, I wasn't practicing anything or nothing like that. Nothing crazy, guys. I wasn't doing nothing. It's just something that I'm thinking about. It's something that I'm thinking about. Like, I'm always thinking about bettering myself, bettering myself. So, it snapped again. And so, I'm walking around. And um, I got you on the edge of your seat, Donna. Yeah. I got you on the edge of your seat. 
It's almost entertaining, kind of sort of. But on, it's real stuff, guys. So I'm walking around, and I I notice this. And I'm in this. I'm in this consciousness. I want to get out. Cause I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, I'm taking deep breaths. I'm thinking I'm gonna pass out and all this and that. And and I'm just walking around my job. I'm walking around my job. And as I'm walking around, I notice that my employees and my co my coworkers, <laughs> the employees, they didn't notice me or something. It's like some of them noticed me, but it's like. I was com this is the second time it happened, so I was more comfortable than the first time. And so I felt like I was supposed to be where I was at, you know, and I was completely comfortable with it. You know, and um after a while, after after like maybe three minutes, I was I began to be comfortable. And so I simply just walked over to my boss and he was already like kind of wondering why I wasn't over there working like I supposed to be. I just was doing what I wanted to do, guys. I was like literally doing what I wanted to do. And even when I, when I, when I excuse me, when I walked to my boss, I'm so excited. When I walked to my boss, um, he was even like, "What's up, man? You all right?" I'm like, "Yeah." He was like, "Okay, cool." He was like, uh, "He said something like we started a conversation." He's like, "Sure." I'm just making something up, but I think he said something like, "But maybe, um, yo, what you do this weekend?" I was just like, "Nothing, man. I'm just chill." And now I'm supposed to be working. I'm supposed to be working. Everybody else is working their ass off. I'm just chilling like this. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, da 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 da. da. I'm like, yeah. And I, I was, man, I was the moment. I was in the moment. I was, I was the power. I was the powerhouse of my world, and nobody could stop me. And so, um. I began to panic again because I, I noticed that I was in such a different consciousness and I, it, it wasn't right because, you know, before I was a regular person, you know, um, just, you know, just in that regular race mind, you know. And so after that had happened, um, after I talked to him or whatever, I just told him, like, man, let's go outside real quick. Because at the time, I'm, I'm still back losing my breath again because I can't believe that I'm in another, like, consciousness and he don't even realize it. You know, and so I was like, yo, let's go outside real quick. He like, what's you all right? I'm like, yeah, let's just let's just go outside, man. I gotta take a breath, man. I gotta catch a breath. So I'm walking with him outside. My heart is beating so fast. My heart is beating so fast. And so we walking outside and I get outside and I just I'm just sitting there. And um he like, yo, you all right? I'm like, I can't tell him what's happening. I can't tell him like, yo. My seventh chakra just activated, or I can't tell him like, "Yo, I'm in a different consciousness," or "Yo, my reality just changed." I can't tell him nothing like off the wall or nothing metaphysical. You know, a lot of people don't understand this stuff that we're talking about because they don't they, they don't study themselves. You know, and so uh, I was just like, "Yeah," and now I started to really come down. I started to really come down off that 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 consciousness, and I started to you know mellow out. And I started to just come back into regular just trainers, just regular trainers. And I was comfortable there. <laughs> you know, I was I was comfortable. I mean, and that's and you know what, guys, it just reminds me like just now that I said that, like how so many people are just comfortable with where they are. And that's why we can never expand, you know, our consciousness. Um But uh, you know, if 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 that if I'm talking about myself, guys, then you know, um, I nearly, I really need some work on myself too. You know, and um, I'm not perfect either. But you know, this is this is some powerful stuff, guys. You know, activating all seven chakras and you know your crown chakra opening it up, and you seeing life on a whole nother level. You got to be prepared for that stuff, guys. You gotta, you gotta just literally be prepared for it, especially if you're an empath or an empathetic person and whatnot. Um, but it's very real. It's very, very real. And this was around the time, the first time it happened, this was around the time where I was really just kind of doubting the chakra stuff. You know, I was, I heard about it, you know, but I didn't, that's why I still don't know nothing about it to this day. But I do, but I did kind of uh, read a little bit about it, you know, after my first experience. And I, and I knew immediately, like, it was real. Like, wow, I never knew that this shit was real. Like, all this stuff that, you know, they got out here on the internet and that people have done research on scientific, man, it's half, most of the stuff is real. It's just that a lot of people have not accessed none of this stuff because most of us just walk around and we're zombies. You know, everybody wants to be an employee. Everybody wants to just follow in the status quo. 
You know, nobody wants to own their life. Nobody wants to own their reality. You know, people would rather go to work and, and, and report to their boss and tell their boss they want to go on a vacation before they take a vacation on their own and have their own businesses and companies and stuff. So it's like this stuff exists. You know, we can actually tap into different realities and consciousness of, you know, our very own individuality. But, you know, a lot of us just don't think like that. And it's sad, you know. Um, but at the same time, that's why a lot of us actually are living in these consciousnesses. Um, now, I'm going to end it out like this. Um, um, now, like I said before, guys, consciousness changes the more you grow. The more you mature, consciousness change. Um, and you become higher consciousness the more you grow on the inside. Um, like I said, that's why a lot of people that get older become more wiser. Because they have grew in their consciousness. Now... This is happening to you right now. You know, your consciousness is changing right now. Um, even when you learn knowledge, you know, and you try to learn from trial and error and stuff like that, consciousness, your consciousness is changing at all times. You can't see it, but it's actually happening. You know, and that's something that I realize about myself. Like, consciousness is changing at all times. The more you want to better yourself, the more inspiration you put in yourself, the more positivity and light that you let in your life, the, the higher up you go on this scale. You know, the higher up you go in your consciousness. Um, I think the seventh chakra, the, the you know, the um, Sahasara opening up and stuff like that. I think that's like a consciousness that Jesus was in, you know, because it's a prime example. It's a prime. Jesus, that's why I like to refer to the Bible, because Jesus kind of lived in that chakra, you know, where he was the he was his only. He was the only thing that mattered, <laughs> like walking around all power. People follow him, people noticing it, like the spirit that he was in, people noticing the power that's coming off of him and can't do, he was there, he was there. You know, other people call it Christ consciousness, but he was there, you know, and now to this, at this day, you know, now that I've experienced it, like with my own mind and I've been there several times and I go back and read the story of Jesus and stuff, I can relate so much because I know exactly how it feels to be there, you know, um, now, the way to get there, I'm going to tell you the way to get there. The way to activate this, this seventh shark, and I'm going to let you go, is you got to, listen, here's the secret, guys, listen. If you, only for those of you who stayed to actually finish watching this video, get this secret. Everybody who exited out on this video, you know, who didn't want to watch it no more because it got too long, it ain't for them, it's for you. Okay, so that's why I made it so long, and that's why I wanted to, you know, Make it far out fish. You understand what I'm saying? And so, um, the secret, the secret is, guys, if you constantly think that you are a star, I'm gonna say a star. Always see yourself the way God sees you at all times through the day. You heard me? You are the star, right? Always see yourself all times of the day. Like God sees you. And you know how God sees you, right? Magnificent. Glorious. Wonderful. He created you. You're, 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 you're fabulous. Think about yourself like that. All throughout the day. While at the same time, treating other people like that too. If you do that, all throughout the day, you keep positive thoughts in your, on your mind. And you don't harbor any negative thought. You don't dwell on your mind. You don't dwell on the future. You don't dwell on the past. Nothing. You stay in that moment and, and stay in that moment of love. And you give that love out to people around you. And you always see yourself like God sees you. And you are the star. You, you'll notice throughout the day, hour after hour, your consciousness started to go up. You, you'll feel it. You'll trust me. You will feel it. I do it all the time. You'll feel it. You'll feel your consciousness rising. And, um, you feel consciousness rising because you start to feel more different. Like your body will start to do some weird shit. Like your body will start to just become more joyous and more, you know, enthusiastic about yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Like you, your heart rate will just start to go up because you, your happiness and your adrenaline will start rushing. Probably if some of you may become like a little bit frightened or whatever, just because you're experiencing the goodness. See. It's funny because something so good could feel so bad, you know, like 
it's just like being in love. Like you can be so in love that you feel like, yo, something is not right. Like somebody, he cheating on me or she cheating on me. Something ain't right with this. And it's the same way that it feels when you start rising in consciousness, guys. But don't be scared of it. You know, continue to just feel that energy. Go forward. Be the best you be. Be the best you can be. I'm Trenton Henderson, guys. This is Infamous Living Room Network. I'll see you next time. Peace.